Oh, good morning YouTube and welcome along to another episode of Silver Fox Travels. Today I'm on the Fox as you can see and uh, I'm having a bit of a ride out and I'm heading for Ribblehead Viaduct and then possibly Hawes and then who knows from there. Um, as you can see I've got Anthony behind me and uh, we're going to have a we're going to make a day of it and just basically enjoy ourselves. So sit back and enjoy and let's get on with this ride. Somewhere along the route though, uh, we're going to stop and see if we can grab some lunch. Um, I might go for something different this time instead of the uh, statutory bacon sandwich. See what there is, what there is uh, on offer. At the minute we're on the uh, A65 heading up towards Chalka Reservoir. Oh, on YouTube as um, a bit of an update on the uh, computer. At the time of recording, today is the uh, 10th of October. Uh, the computer is still in hospital. Uh, the prognosis hasn't been uh, confirmed yet but I understand a transplant may be required and uh, we'll just have to see how it goes from there it's going to be touch and go but we'll uh, keep in hope <laughs> put it this way YouTube if you see this video you'll know they fixed it if you don't then this is just going to disappear into the ether <laughs> Fishing in the reservoir. Then? There's a bloke fishing in the reservoir. Alright. Oh, I didn't see him. No, I, back there. Yeah, I didn't see him until I just happened to look. That is definitely a block fishing and not a statue. No, no, block fishing. Oh, okay. Well done that man. Oh what we could do actually Anthony on our way home. We could stop in at PC World before we put the bikes away uh, and just see what he says. Dead thing on the road. Yeah. Just yeah. see what he says. If he says it's ready, then uh, I can go back tomorrow morning and pick it up. Sure. Smashing view for you there YouTube, look at that. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that almost had me out of my seat. miles away. I'm going to say I was watching you, lost in my own thoughts, never saw him. Yeah. I looked in my mirror and thought, shit, where's he come from?
Have you brought your uh, camera with you, Anthony? No, I didn't. I thought you were going to get your camera out today. There you got your phone. Yeah, I've got a phone for that, but... <laughs> Now we're turning right at this next junction. And this is where the fun really begins. <laughs> right, now we're gonna cross over a bridge here which is uh, just by the canal. Maybe there's an opportunity here for a photograph. Let's wait and see. It's a weak bridge, apparently. Oh, that looks full. Mm. Another bike behind us. No, there's no one behind us. Oh, I thought I saw another bike. Oh, yes, there is. I thought so. Coming to a junction, we're turning right. <laughs> no clear, it looks clear. Let's go. Ashton, we're in Ashton. Got into that sign back there.
It looks like we've picked up a BMW behind us as well. I wonder if he's having as much fun as we are. Well, one thing, um, to say it's a Tuesday, YouTube, uh, seems to be quite a bit of traffic about. Lovely views. <laughs> oh, that beamer's got a friend now. Another bike there with him. No, I've got a car behind him. That. Oh, is that a car behind him? Could have stopped at that gateway and taken some photos. Never mind. Cyclist in the car coming towards us. Yeah, copy that. I've seen him. Go on, lad, if you want to go. Say after the next bend, if you want, we can just pull over for a moment, let that car go. Absolutely, yeah, sure. If there's a space. Nice twisty roads along here. Yeah. Certainly are. Now we have a car following us, uh, so what I'm going to do everybody is I'm going to find a gateway or somewhere, a lay-by maybe, where I can pull in and let the car go by. Could have done it there, but never mind, too late. And then, uh, and then we can continue on our way in our usual leisurely pace one thing I've got to say uh, YouTube is I'm all for straight roads and everything but sometimes I do like bendy roads like this that make you think pull over here for a second and let that car go by Oh, 
All clear behind. Good, let's go. There we are. And he even said thank you. I think in this day and age, I mean, it's, it's nice to get to where you need to be, but if uh, if you're holding somebody up, it's it's always polite to just get out of the way and let them carry on and uh, continue on and just enjoy the route. If you don't have to rush, then there's no need to. Especially when you're going through some lovely little villages like this. Hang on a bit, the sat now wanted a bit to go up there. Yeah, I wanted to go up there as well. But I think it's found something else, maybe just mm. over a mile. Yes, it has. Um, lunch? Um, tea shop. Yeah, lunch. This looks like the perfect spot for a bite of lunch. This will do nicely for lunch. I think we can back it in next to this uh, Skoda. And jobs are good. One. Guide, yeah, no, just guide me and tell me if I've gone far enough. Come on, old girl. I think you are a bit close to the car, though. Yeah, but I'm over at an angle, so by the time I straightened up, I'm well out of his way. There you go, you've got room to park up next to me. I'm leaving it right there. Do you want a hand? Uh, just guide me in. Okay. I'll guide you in, Anthony. Come Keep coming, you can do it. Do you want a hand? Yeah, let me pull you back a bit. Oh, there you go, that'll do. That'll do. Right, let's go grab some lunch. Okay, so that was the farm shop here at Ayrton, and we're now going to complete our little journey to uh, Ribblehead. I'll take the lead. Okay. <laughs> 